Today a very short demo I've got for you is um, a little program I picked up over the internet and I've tried to find out who the manufacturers and makers were so that I could get permission to use it. However, uh, I'm informed that the uh, the people that made it and put it on the web are no longer around so it becomes freeware and free to everybody to use it, provided they don't change it of course, it must stay in its original form. So the little program is, uh, with Christmas coming on, little program is called Word Art Generator and it's just a simple program that we can type in what we want if we type in uh, Merry Christmas very plain very ordinary um, it does allow us to go through our fonts somewhat and we can change it for any font we want that we've got stored on our uh, computers um, bizarre fonts, normal fonts, Christmassy fonts even um, don't know if we've got any old English ones but uh, that's what I'm looking for uh, to keep tabbing through uh, this is literally I've going through every font that I've got on the computer um, one of the criteria of using this program is the text that um, is saved as an image or saved as uh, a word art generation is um, only it's as big as the square that we have on the screen there um, so just tap through a bit more Merry Christmases There's some bizarre looking fonts I must admit but uh, we'll find one that we do like as I say I'm looking for the more of an old English style or a gothic style um, font might be quicker just to uh, select one There we go, we'll go with that one. Merry Christmas. That's the one I was looking for. Now, very plain again, on its own. Um, what we can do is just raise the font size so as the words we want just fill that window. And it seems like, like 45 is about as big as we need to get. Um, we can, just by clicking the mouse, put a shadow behind that. And it's a very delicate, soft shadow. Um, again, this can be moved by using these controls in this little control panel here. Um, we can offset the shadow by quite quite a considerable amount. In fact, a complete font or a complete character can be moved. There we go. But we'll just do it about two, which is what its uh, default is. Uh, we can raise it up a bit again as well. Same thing, up or down, so you can get a good per perspective on the font that you want to use. There we go. We'll stick it to the original one. We can make it bold watch when you do click bolt that it doesn't actually flow outside this uh, box uh, that we started in. We can change the colors obviously the start color we can have as a nice say green and an end color of Christmassy red. Um, we can also change it the way it shows. Uh, if I click middle to top you'll notice it hasn't actually done anything but if you turn shadow on and off you can see the change take place almost immediately um, and again, we can. Uh, if you're not happy with that? We can do bottom to top, and again, just clicking the the shadow button will turn everything back on. We can make it a transparent font so that when we overlay it over a bit of artwork, it actually shows uh, doesn't show the white background. Um, again, it's quite versatile. It's uh, a free package, as far as I can gather. It comes from originally www.wordstargenerator.com but unfortunately this website doesn't seem to exist anymore so um, I'll put this onto our website and I'm sure if the manufacturers don't want us to have it there they're gonna let me know pretty quick anyway we'll save that as an image uh, we'll click on the save button and we'll get a document library we'll put it into pictures what will we call it we can call it an art file if we want uh, MX will do for that. Save as an image. We can save it in the picture library. We can save it as a PNG, which is quite a universal um, standard, or we can save it as a JPG, or we can save it as a GIF. Now, bear in mind we tick transparent, so this will come up as a transparent GIF when we uh, save it. So we need to put a name in there. Uh, just Xmas will do for this one, 
and save. And there we go. So if we go into uh, our pictures folder, we can see Christmas there as a GIF. It does open in um, PaintShop Pro on this computer, but if I preview it, there we are. It's transparent, there's no background to it at all. Um, very nice. Merry Christmas, you can do maybe four or five lines if you want uh, as separate graphics, uh, in which case you can have Merry, Merry Christmas from all in the same font or change it, whatever you prefer. That's the pra program. It doesn't need to be installed, it runs straight from the download. Um, and I have checked it for viruses and nasties and all the rest of it. So hope you use that. I hope you find it interesting and I hope you find it useful. Thank you very much for listening.